Hello, Hello there. there. If you're a follower of the channel, then you'll know that Star Wars games played a huge impact on my life, especially in my childhood. Games like The Force Unleashed and Republic Commando being the backbone of Star Wars games will take a look at Jedi Fallen Order and see why it's Star Wars gaming at its finest. I remember when Fallen Order was just beginning to release, everyone was questioning if it would live up to the reputation of The Force Unleashed, which rightfully so, it's one of the best Star Wars games ever told. And it had an adventure, characters you liked, plenty to explore, and great combat, and plenty of Force powers. Fallen Order needed to do these things, but they needed to do it in a more modern way. Nowadays, people want customization, huge open world maps, and a solid story. Jedi Fallen Order delivered with every single one of those, and best of all, you feel immersed while doing so. There's a difference between playing a game and actually living the game. It's a whole nother experience. I remember when I was a kid playing these Star Wars games, I'd actually feel what these people were feeling and experiencing what they were experiencing, the characters that I was playing as. And playing this game made me feel like that way again, which is something that has not happened to me in a long time. I actually felt like a ginger-haired Jedi trying to restore the Jedi Order along with my companions. The side characters of the story are just amazing. There's not one that I just outright hated. Everyone feels like they play a pivotal role in the story in which it is supposed to be being told. Whether it's Seer struggling with the dark side and mentoring me along the way, or Grease playing the comic relief portion of the story, or BD1 helping me out throughout the game giving me someone to interact with and to also gain abilities with during the game. The story and the characters are just great, but the gameplay is just as good. I think it can be easily said that this is one of the best lightsaber combat in any Star Wars game. There's just so much depth to it, to every swing, to every block, everything has timing. You could just hack and slash mindlessly like every other lightsaber combat game, but you're going to spend a lot of time respawning and it's going to be very difficult. So it's best that you take it slow and be strategical and it'll be so much more fun. One of the most important things that needed to be done right was the combo between lightsaber combat and force abilities. At first when you start off your connection to the force is minimal but after you play the game and level up so many times so does your force abilities too and you get to learn new ones along the way which is awesome. And once you upgrade them a lot they'll be super powerful and you can do some really cool shit like throw four or five people off a ledge at once. That right there is just prime Star Wars games. I want to be able to wreck some stormtroopers and grab them and impale them with my lightsaber to have and to have epic lightsaber battles with a Sith. That's every kid's dream right there and it does it so well with this game. Along with the combat and all that sort of stuff the puzzles are just amazing. If I can recall, I don't ever remember any Star Wars game having puzzles like this in, in their game. It's referred to the Uncharted series with how they've done it, but it's so well done with the interaction with the parkour to using your force abilities to move on to the next spot within the story or to unlock new areas of the map. Everything is just so well done. And even with the parkour, those things can get upgraded too. You can do double jumps at one point. You can wall run. You can jump super high off of bouncy things and stuff. That's just awesome. That feels like what an agile Jedi would do. And so with its combat and its force abilities and its parkour -y ab abilities too, I think it can be really considered to be some of the best stuff in any Star Wars game out there. Another thing too that's super important with these Star Wars games are the, are the soundtracks used. It's just not Star Wars without quality soundtracks and they do an amazing job with them in this game. From using scores from the prequels from Order 66 to also creating new ones, they're just fantastic and when, in, and when used in the right times, they can really impact the feel of a scene and the gameplay. I just cannot imagine playing a Star Wars game without any music in the background. It, it, it just feels so naked like there's something missing. And so when I see other streamers go through these cutscenes, and especially the one at the end with, spoiler alert, Vader appearing with his score from Revenge of the Sith, and they just play the scene with the score turned off, I, I can understand why they do it because they don't want to get demonetized, but me personally, it just feels so 
awkward and it just really changes the feel of the scene like something is really missing and it really bugs me so I, whenever i play these games in these scenes i need music i also love the new scores that are added to like the main menu theme that one is just so good i even added it to my star wars playlist and listen to it on repeat for days until i got so sick of it that i just could not listen to it anymore and there's another where you're on kashik where you're on the bird thingy flying around the tree or whatnot and the score during that scene is just so star wars and i love it the respawn dev team really got everything right with this game with its combat to the story to the score throughout the game this is just prime Star Wars gaming right here. Even though it took EA a couple of tries to make a good quality Star Wars game at launch, Jedi Fallen Order surpasses any expectation that you would expect from a Star Wars game. But if you're interested in any more Star Wars content, go ahead, check out my other reviews down below in my video where I answer the question as to which Starkiller was more powerful. And please subscribe, I'm trying to get monetized too. Thanks.